of our Goodwill evening date nights. And on our way there, we were brainstorming business and ideas, which is what we do all the time. We came up with the idea to see what would happen if I challenged myself to decorate an entire vignette with only one Goodwill stop. Now, you guys see me go to three, four, or five Goodwills and put together a beautiful vignette. Well, I think they're beautiful <laughs> often, but you've never seen me have to challenge myself to do it in one Goodwill stock. As someone who loves interior design, not just my own style, I thought that this would be a really fun challenge for myself to get out of my own comfort zone and explore different types of styles and different decades of vintage and play around with it and have fun and just see what I can create. So we went to one of our favorite Goodwills and I just started filling the cart. We are already off to a great start for this little thrift challenge. This is a beautiful piece of pottery. I really love the size of it and the shape and that it's got these gorgeous handles on it. Let's see how much they are asking for this piece. Only $7.99, that is a fantastic price. I'm not sure if this piece is vintage or if it is newer made. It does have a lot of markings on it, which I might be able to get off with a magic eraser. If not, I can always paint over it. Whenever I put pottery together in a little cluster, I usually look for a couple different shapes and sizes. I love the idea of going with a classic black and white look. This pottery here is only $4.99, and I think that the two of them are going to look fantastic together. You can't decorate a credenza without having a lamp. A lamp completely changes the space. And this green pleated lampshade is going to be fantastic. Now I just have to find the right base for it. I'm loving this cylinder shape. It is not something I would typically pick up. I tend to gravitate towards the more mid-century modern shapes, but I think that this one's gonna look really great with the green pleated lampshade. Unfortunately, it means I have to buy two different lampshades, but I can always donate the other one back. Gotta have some good artwork. This is a little bit of an amateur painting, but the colors in it are great. I think this is gonna look really good with the pleated lampshade. This sculptural lady is pretty great. She does seem to be a newer piece, not a vintage piece, but the dark color on her is gonna be a beautiful contrast against my cream colored walls. I do not need a vintage coffee mug to decorate a vignette, but I am gonna grab this one for my next shop sale. It's only $3.99 and look at the colors. Come on, had to get it. Maybe I'll just have a cup of coffee while I'm decorating. That will count. What I think I'm missing right now is some texture. So I'm gonna grab a couple woven baskets and then I also need to find something brass. You always wanna have a good variety of colors and textures. Next up, I want to look for some candles and candle holders. Adding in a beautiful flicker of candlelight always makes a vignette look beautiful. This little candle right here for 99 cents will do. Even though these are tropical leaves on this candle and it doesn't really fit with the landscape I just got, I'm gonna try out this piece because I think this would also be beautiful to use for my tiki party later this summer. So far, everything in the cart is looking really good together. Even the coffee mug matches. Now, one way to know if your style is looking good together in your cart is by all of the looks you get when you walk by other people. When I just walked into this aisle, I think at least three people were eyeing my cart. I don't know if they just wanted to see what treasures I got to first, or if they were like, wow, this girl's got some good stuff. Either way, I'm gonna take it as a compliment. Now I do feel like I need a little bit more warmth and so I'm gonna grab this bowl. I have some dried eucalyptus at home that I think would look really pretty in this bowl. I am feeling pretty confident in this haul. I'm actually pretty surprised that I was able to find this much good stuff in one Goodwill location. Typically, I'm only picking up vintage, so the fact that I'm able to include a few things that are a little bit newer makes it a lot easier. 
We have no sales tax here in Oregon, so my total cost is $61.91. Now, I think that there's probably three or four items in here that I'm getting just in case I wanna use them. I may not end up using them, but I didn't wanna get home and regret not buying them. So if you take out my coffee mug and a couple of the other small items that I may not end up using, you could probably do this for around $50 total. Let's get home and start decorating. I wanna give a huge thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I just got my brand new box of food from HelloFresh and I'm really excited because today we're gonna cook a yummy meal together and I'm gonna tell you why I love HelloFresh. If you're looking for a spring refresh and you're wanting to try something new, take your taste buds on a trip and get exploring with different global flavors with HelloFresh. HelloFresh Market means you've got one-stop shop for all meal and snack occasions with items like focaccia pizza, satisfying sides, and drool-worthy desserts. One of the things I love about HelloFresh is that the recipes feature produce that goes directly from the farm to your front door in under a week, which means that the spring menu features the season's freshest flavors. HelloFresh gives you step-by-step -step recipes that are super easy to follow and they're all pre-portioned ingredients, which helps me cut out prep time so I have more time for thrifting. HelloFresh is up to 72% cheaper than dining at a restaurant. got the lemon all over the counter. So graceful. <laughs> but I know it's gonna be delicious. They offer veggie, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals to make it easier to stick to your goals. HelloFresh is the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all of their packaging is recyclable. HelloFresh cuts down your food waste by at least 25% compared to the grocery store. Go to HelloFresh.com and use the code LEFTCO16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. HelloFresh makes my life a lot easier. It means that I still get to cook in the kitchen as often as I want with less waste, less mess, and a lot less cleanup. And most importantly, the meals are delicious. That's HelloFresh.com. Use code LEFTCO16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. super happy with how this turned out. This was a really fun challenge to see if I could decorate a whole vignette with one Goodwill store. I am so sad that I broke that vase. I cannot believe I did that. I did my best with what I already had on hand, but the scale of this beautiful one right here, which was also a Goodwill find, I think it would have looked much better having a larger size next to the black pot. I really do love this black pot though. I think it's great having pots that have different textures on it. So this has a beautiful matte finish. And then this one over here has kind of a rough natural texture. And then I love the fact that it has the little handles and it's kind of a jug style. I was on the fence about this little candle, but I actually think that it worked, even though it's kind of tropical palm leaves, the green colors on it were perfect for what I already had going on here. 
And then I cut this branch off of a tree in our yard. We have so many trees in our yard and it's been really fun to play around decorating with the different types. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some rooting powder on the bottom of it and see if I can actually turn this into a plant start. I can either plant another tree somewhere in our yard or possibly gift that to somebody. Everyone already knows that I love blue and green. So this was a very natural fit for me. Once I found this piece of art, I kind of knew the direction that I was gonna go with this. And this little lady it was such a great piece to find. The only thing that I didn't find that I was hoping to find for this look was a brass piece. I felt like we had a lot of great different textures, but I really think a brass piece would have popped. Maybe if this would have been a little brass candle holder, that could have been really cute. Another thing about this little trio right here is that they're all very short and round, and typically I would not do that. But I was doing the best with what I could work with. If I hadn't broke the white pot and maybe I found a little skinny brass candle holder I think this would have been fantastic when I got home I was seriously considering painting this lamp base to be a concrete base I think the contrast would look awesome with that lampshade I decided not to one because I was being lazy but two because I kind of like the dark wood warmth I felt like it goes really well with everything we've got going on here if I had not have broken the tall white vase that had a lot of markings on it I think doing that tall white vase in a concrete gray and then painting this lamp base concrete to kind of match and pull that all in. I think that would have looked really good together too. I would love to know what you think of this vignette and if you enjoyed this type of video where I go out and I challenge myself to see what I can decorate with from one Goodwill location. One of the reasons that I love to thrift pottery is because it can be so expensive to buy brand new. If you went to West Elm or Pottery Barn, you might be paying anywhere from $50 to $100 for a single piece of pottery that is made in a factory overseas and it's not gonna have the charm and character of a vintage artist signed piece and you can thrift these pieces for just a few dollars. Here's a little example of some pottery that I found online that looks very similar to what I found at Goodwill and look at the price tags on it. Funny enough, I ended up finding a beautiful inspo picture that had a cylinder lamp with a pleated lampshade, but not only that, it also had a very similar piece of pottery to the large white pot. But you guys know that I love adding in more color and although this picture is so inspirational, I really wanted to add in more color for what I was going to create today. How many of you remember the Palm Springs episode a few episodes back where I showed that beautiful pleated curved lamp at the vintage market and I told you that it was the most on-trend thing in the entire market? Check out this incredible room designed by Ashley Tisdale. She did all of her own decorating and clearly used a lot of vintage pieces and I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. I just had to show you this picture because when I saw it on Instagram, I was very excited to see that beautiful lamp in the corner. I think one of the fun things about design is that it's always changing and it's always evolving. My style's always evolving and what other people are purchasing and paying for is always changing. And I think as a vintage reseller and someone who loves design, it's important to keep up on what's going on out there. Because what you don't want to happen is where you pick up a whole bunch of vintage thinking it's gonna sell, but it's not gonna sell. It's just gonna sit there. And no one wants that to happen because then you can't go out and buy more stuff. You have to keep moving stuff in order to keep going out and buying new inventory. So I'm gonna keep pushing myself to think outside of my own personal style and keep an eye on what other people are really into right now. Obviously, you always have to buy what you love. I think that's one of the most important parts of being a successful vintage reseller, but I do believe that you can find little things between each era and each trend that you personally love. And I gotta tell you, for me, it's the pleated lampshade. And I am also loving all of the super curvy 80s furniture, especially when it's a curved couch. I think those are absolutely beautiful. Always follow that gut intuition. If you see a piece and you love it, try to take a mental note of what do you love about it. That will help you down the road when you're really trying to define your own style and you're trying to figure out what pieces are missing from your space. You might think, okay, I have this beautiful cylinder lamp, but I also really love when something has a rounded shape to it. So now I need to look for something that's got more of a ball shape to it. It is always good to mix in different shapes and sizes. 
So if you're looking for a piece of pottery and maybe you find something that's really simple and minimal, but you love the texture on it, look for something a little bit more unique and taller and sculptural for a second piece to go with it. By taking that simple piece and mixing it with a more unique piece, it's really gonna add a lot of interest. And try to find pieces that have soft organic textures to them. I think that those are the easiest ones to blend in with an existing decor or style. And you're gonna pay a few bucks for your vase instead of a hundred bucks. And everybody wants a good deal. This was such a fun episode for me to film. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'd really like to be doing more of these down the road because like I said at the beginning, it encourages me to get outside of my comfort zone with design and play around. And I think that that's just the most exciting part of being creative. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in a brand new episode soon.